Uh, my name is Blake and I use Course Insights in my large introductory psychology course with about 1,100 students. I primarily use it to see how students are going in their regular repeated assessment and I also talk to my tutors about how they're going so that they can get a sense too of what they might need to cover more in the tutors. So some of the benefits of using Course Insights are that the data is really easy to access, so it's updated pretty regularly, um, makes it a lot easier than having to go through Grade Centre and do it manually. So we can do things like look at how um, easy students have found the different assessment tasks across the weeks and identify particular tasks that we might need to go back and revise. So one other thing that we use Course Insights for is to compare how students from different cohorts are going in the assessment tasks. So we have workshops where students have to work together in groups and there was a suggestion that maybe international students don't feel as comfortable about contributing to those groups and so they might not do as well. So we're able to use the filtering tool to actually look at how well the international students do compared to the domestic students and get some insight into that question. I think if you're thinking of using Course Insights in your course, uh, one of the things you can do to get the most out of it is to have regular assessment throughout the semester because that way you can actually see how students are performing and get some real-time feedback on how students are going in your course. So this might mean incorporating a more formative assessment or even having some summative assessment tasks throughout the semester.